Conference. The Miners looking to start 2-0 in conference play for the second straight year, and all they had to do was beat North Texas. UTEP is 3-0 all-time against the Mean Green at the Don, so you'd think today would be in the Miners' favor, but that's why they play the game. Let's go out to the Don. The Miners looking to make it four straight wins, and off the North Texas miss, the Miners are off. Moore to Harris. Harris back to Moore, who finishes at the rim for the first basket of the game. Absolutely textbook, but the Mean Green respond. Fuller finds Holston wide open on the wing. And he buries the jumper. We have a tie ball game. But the Miners also threw in some post play. Win to Vent, who gets the easy bucket and the two point lead. And in the first half, the Miner transition offense was on point. Artists running the break, threading the needle to Terry Wynn, who finishes at the rim plus the foul. But the mean green didn't go anywhere except right back at the Miners. Holston again with the aggressive jump stop in the bucket. But it is the Miners who pull away at home 84 to 75, your final score. So let's go ahead and send it out now to ABC7 Sports Director Danny Mata, who was at the game all day and has a live recap. And Danny, really another big win for the Miners. And Luke, a thrilling finish here at the Don. The game just ended just a few moments ago. And, uh, well, for the Miners, they're 2-0 and in conference play with two tough wins. I know Coach Floyd felt like the team was 0-1, was but was, in fact, 1-0 after the first game against Rice on New Year's Day. This was another tough one. North Texas took the lead 71-70 to very late. But Lee Moore came up with a clutch basket late. And then he and Hooper Vint really came up with some big baskets and some big free throws. Hooper Vint had a dunk that came after he missed a layup and got his own rebound late in the game. That really helped seal the deal uh, for the Miners and then North Texas missed a lot of free throws down the stretch to hurt any chance that it had of uh, coming back and stealing this game. So the Miners may not have been the prettiest way to do it, but they are in fact 2-0 and as they get ready, as they get a few days off to repair uh, for Thursday's game. But as, as, as far as right now goes, a, a, a wonderful day for the Miners because they're 2-0. and They definitely have some things to work on though. Reporting from the Don Haskins Center, Danny Mata, ABC7. Luke. All right, Danny, thank you. And we